In the previous examples, we looked at how to override template files. And in this video, what we're going to do is step back in the processing order a little bit and look at how to use preprocessing functions. The first step to understanding how to use preprocessing functions is knowing where they go and how you name them. All preprocessing functions will go in the template.php file if we're working on the theme layer and we'll follow a very particular naming convention and we'll look at a few examples here and then take those examples into practice and from these examples you should be able to extrapolate how to apply this same structure to any template file or theme function. Okay, let's go ahead and look at node.tpl.php if we're going to build a preprocessing function for this, we would use the following structure. The first part is the name of the theme, and then we're going to add an underscore, preprocess, underscore, and then the name of the template file. So this is removing the tpl.php at the end and using what's left as the end of this function name. Preprocessing functions get past a single variable called variables or vars and this contains an array of all of the content that will get passed to the template file or theming function. Okay, let's look at another example. This one is a more specific node template file, node dash dash article, which you may remember from a previous example, is a template file that's specific to a particular content type, namely the article content type. Now when we create a preprocessing function for this, it's actually going to have the same structure as the base node template file. If we need to be more specific inside of our preprocessing function for modifying content based on content type, then we would simply need to add some logic within that preprocessing function. Okay, let's look at another example. page.tpl.php. Now, from the previous example, you probably have an idea of what we're going to do here. It's the same as our preprocess node, except instead of using node, we're using page. So again, this is the first part of the template file name. Okay, let's look at a more specific page template file. This one is for page dash dash admin dash dash people, which will theme the page when someone goes to the path admin slash people. Now again, like with the node article, if we are more specific with our template file, we're still going to use the same preprocessing function. So this preprocessing function is BAM overrides preprocess page, just the same as it was with page.tpl.php. Now with theming functions, things work pretty similarly, except instead of removing the tpl.php, we instead remove the theme underscore part of the function name and use the rest. So if we're going to create a preprocessing function for this, it would be bad overrides, preprocess, link. And again, the same variables array is being passed to the preprocessing function. For theme image, it's going to be very similar. Bat overrides, preprocess, image. Now there's one more level of preprocessing that occurs before the content gets passed to the template file or theme function, and those are through the process functions. Process functions are identical to preprocessing functions, except that they occur after all of the preprocessing functions have run. So, if you need to deal with content after all of the modules have run their preprocessing functions, you can do that simply by renaming the function name from preprocess to process. So, if we're looking at the node.tpl.php file, the name of it will be bat overrides process node. So, note. The only thing that we're changing here is preprocess to process, and it still takes the single variable array of the content that's going to be passed to the template file or theme function. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at a few examples of using preprocessing functions.